We're in my kitchen again. What the heck a Rooney was that noise? My hair is getting so long. I am so ready to chop it off. Like Makara Tours with the nail clippers. Hey y'all, welcome to Maddie Pants. So last week I had a two-parter video where we compared HelloFresh and Home Chef. But this week I wanted to see if I could recreate one of our HelloFresh meals and do it for cheaper. If you saw the last HelloFresh video, you would have seen our number one HelloFresh meal ranking was the crispy chickpea tabbouleh bowls. What did you say that this was your favorite It's one? my favorite one. Like yeah. I'm like biased cause like I'm Greek and it tastes very Greek and you got the feta and the dill and all that. I like how the chickpeas are crispy. Oh man, it's really good. I could go on and on about those suckers. But for this video, I'm not going to be recreating that exact recipe, but I'm gonna do one that's very, very similar. Instead, today I'm gonna make chickpea powdered Mediterranean couscous with zucchini and tomatoes. Oh God. So after our big one month long HelloFresh Home Chef trial, we, spoiler alert, got another two weeks of HelloFresh and this was one of the meals we got. It's another one of those fantastic vegetarian Mediterranean 10 out of 10 on taste. This is two really good vegetarian ones in a row. Yeah. But I thought this one would be a little bit easier than the chickpea tabbouleh bowls. It has pretty simple ingredients, so I'm gonna try and recreate it. Let's get started. Actually, first I am gonna put my hair up because I cannot cook with it down in my face like this. Huh! Yes, my scrunchie matches my sweatshirt. It's called fashion, look it up. So the recipe calls for four ounces of grape tomatoes. So I'm just gonna weigh them. Close enough. So step one is prep the veggies. All right, so I'm supposed to do a quarter ounce of thyme. Um, I don't think my scale is like uh, specific enough to understand like a quarter of an ounce. I mean, I don't know, but stripping the leaves off the stems of this is just so irritating and I'm getting a headache just from smelling it. So I'm gonna supplement with dried thyme. All right, so even with like the dried thyme. Oh, look. Oh, no, nope, that's because I was touching it. I don't think my scale is precise enough. I don't know, this feels like a lot of thyme. Like this is only 0.07 ounces and I'm supposed to have 0.25 ounces. It, it, it seems excessive. I'm gonna add to taste. Chai, get out. <laughs> All right, these babies are gonna go roast in the oven. Now we are moving on to the chickpeas.
these little suckers look so good, but now it is their turn to go into the oven. All right, my veggies are roasted. I've got about two minutes left on the chickpeas. Well, two minutes until I have to flip them over and roast them on the other side. Don't know how that's gonna go. But right now I'm working on melting this butter. I'm gonna add clove of minced garlic and my white onions, or the white parts of the scallions. And they're just gonna cook and get fragrant. Okay, so I add in my couscous and salt and pepper and thyme. The dried thyme, thyme is a very, it's a very fragrant smelling spice. I might have put a little too much, but we'll see. <sighs> this is so stressful. So now I added a cup of my veggie broth and then this has to start boiling, which it looks like it is. So then we'll cover it and turn the heat down to low. All right, everything is looking pretty good. This needs some feta cheese, and then I will assemble it all. All right, I pretty much hated every second of cooking that. I do not do well with, there's two different things in the oven, two different times, and there's something on the stove and you gotta time it all correctly. It's not really hard and it doesn't have to be perfect, but it stresses me out. I don't know why, but like everything with cooking stresses me out, but, but look at my dinner, y'all. She looks so freaking delicious. Also, I poured myself a glass of wine for, you know, the cooking stress. All right, let's try it. Okay, it's almost as good as I remember it. The chickpeas could definitely be a little crispier. There's a little too much thyme, of course, and I wish there were more tomatoes. Dang, is it delicious. Steven is on a friend date right now. Is that what you call it? He's hanging out with a friend he hasn't seen, so I'll get his opinion when he comes back. I'm gonna go eat this real quick. Okay, so now that I have finished my meal, I'm gonna score it like we did last week. So for taste, even with my novice cooking abilities, it still gets a five on taste. It's just, it's so good. It's like the Mediterranean flavors the zucchini, the tomato, the crispy chickpea. It's like savory, but also vegetable-y. That doesn't make sense, but, and I really like that Israeli couscous. It is like little, little like pasta butter balls. It's just, it's very tasty. Maybe that's because of the butter I put in the pan, but still. Now, HelloFresh says that the cooking level is easy. You know what, for Steven, my uh, gourmet chef boyfriend, I'm sure it would be be easy. For me, it was more of like a, a three on the scale of one being easy and five being super difficult. But now that I've made it once, I feel like I can perfect it and make it again and not be so anxious the whole time I'm cooking it because I'll actually know what I'm doing. So it really isn't that hard. It's just hard and stressful for me. All right. Okay. They didn't warm it up. Eating it cold. Eating it cold. Oh man. Yeah, that's good. It does not need to be warmed up. Yeah, you like it cold? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Is it as good as the HelloFresh that you made? Even though I made this one? I think so. Yeah, I think for sure. I thought so too. Mm -hmm. What's your uh, rating on taste? Five. Five out of five. No, out of ten. <laughs> yeah, five. <laughs> out of five. Oh yeah. Good god. Oh my God. What is it that we like so much about it? The texture of the couscous is so satisfying. Yeah, <laughs> and like the crispiness of the chickpeas. Now let's talk about price. Now in our last experiment, uh, I concluded that with a HelloFresh promo code, you're looking at about $6.16 .16 for a meal. Now when that promo runs out, meals turn into $10.49. Now to make today's meal, after purchasing all the ingredients, I did a lot of tedious math to figure out how much each portion of food actually cost. So 
bear with me. One zucchini cost me 97 cents. I got an 11.15 ounce package of grape tomatoes for $3. So for four ounces of that, it cost about $1.07. My fresh thyme, which honestly, I should have just used the dried thyme I already had, but it was $2.39 for three quarter ounces and I needed about one quarter of an ounce. So it was like 80 cents for 0.25 ounces. I already had garlic, but you can buy like a bulb of garlic for 53 cents and that'll give you like five cloves, I think. So like a clove of garlic is like 10 cents. That's what I've deduced anyway. I needed two stalks of scallions. For $1, I got 12 stalks of scallions. So two stalks was only 16 cents. My lemon was 59 cents. A 15.5 ounce can of chickpeas cost me 65 cents. However, the recipe only called for 13.4 ounces. So that equaled about 56 cents. The smoked paprika was kind of hard to figure out. I had to Google how many teaspoons were in my little package of smoked paprika. But what I finally deduced was 31 cents for one teaspoon of paprika. It's kind of expensive, more expensive than the garlic. Now for the Israeli couscous, it came in an 18.8 .8 ounce box, which was $2.69. So after some more Googling and math, I figured for three quarter cups of the couscous, it cost 51 cents. For a veggie broth, I got a $2 box, which was 32 ounces, so four cups. Now HelloFresh gives you like a unit of veggie stock concentrate. It comes in like little packets, but I did some research, AKA I read a Reddit post and found the exact veggie stock that HelloFresh uses. They sell it on Amazon. And what I deduce from that is that one little packet gives you like a cup of stock. So I just used one cup of my veggie broth that I bought at Target and that one cup cost 50 cents. And then for feta cheese, I actually have a 12 ounce package that cost $8. We eat a lot of feta in this house Household, and I only needed a half a cup of feta for this recipe, which is two ounces. So that came out to $1.34. So the total cost of ingredients for this meal was $6.91, which is more expensive than our $6.16. See, it pays to have that promotion, but $6.91 is a lot cheaper than the $10.49 you're gonna pay once your promo runs out. $3.58 cheaper. But I also wanted to calculate a more realistic price of this meal because a lot of things I already had, things I already had in the house, tomatoes, dried thyme, garlic, chickpeas, paprika, and feta. Things I don't normally have were the zucchini, the scallions, a fresh lemon, the Israeli couscous, and veggie stock. All of those items combined cost me $7.25. So uh, getting a little closer to that $10.49. Plus, if you add on the fresh time, it costs you another $2.39, which bumped my total price up to $9.64. Getting a little closer to that $10 HelloFresh threshold. Ooh, that's hard to say, HelloFresh threshold. So I think the meal truly cost me $9.64 because I got such large portions of food that I probably won't necessarily use again before they go bad. The veggie stock, the scallions, and the thyme, they're all gonna go bad in like a week. So I either need to use them in something else tomorrow or make this again in like four days, which I can. I have almost all the ingredients to double this recipe. However, am I gonna make this again in the next week? I guess I have to now. That's another thing I liked about HelloFresh. It only sends you the portions that you need, so there's no extra waste. So for $9.64, you can make this meal, and it's gonna be about 85 cents cheaper than if you had ordered it from HelloFresh. But then again, I did have to drive to two different targets to find Israeli couscous, and I had to go to three different grocery stores 
to find a zucchini. Target doesn't stock zucchinis for some reason, so probably spent that 85 cents in gas just driving around to find ingredients today. I think this uh, video, this whole experiment is just uh, solidifying my love for HelloFresh. I'm just trying to justify ordering it again. HelloFresh, sponsor me. This is not sponsored, but HelloFresh, I'll work with you. Hit me up. Even if you've never tried HelloFresh, this recipe is bomb. You can totally just like look it up and try and make it yourself. It is so good. And it is 100% doable to do this all on your own. You might have to make larger portions because you're buying uh, the ingredients in bulk, but you know, it's doable. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm at maddie.pants or you can follow my personal Instagram. It's at we're all maddie here. Get it? Like we're all mad here, but it's we're all maddie here. And please consider subscribing and maybe I'll make another video. Jai, do you want to do the outro? Okay, bye. Here, put your paw up there, Jai. Oh no, it's too far away. Okay, I'll let you go. <gasps> okay, bye. Chickpea powdered couscous with zucchini and tomatoes. Is that right? Ah, oh, yes, I can read off the card. So after we spent our whole 